snails. They eat them in France as a delicacy, because they call them escargot, which makes them as acceptable as their delicious taste. And they eat them in Somerset, too, as a delicacy which makes 64-year-old Mr. Penny an important man in the field of gastronomic joy. about snails? Um, I think they're pests. They taste really good. I step on them. I think they're slimy. What if they're on a plant? Take them off and step on them. I don't get all weirded out about killing snails. Hi, this is Miss Snail Pail. Um, I was wondering if you had come up with anything with the snail problem. Mm hmm, because you had left me a message about snails as an alternative to pesticides. I'm a snail collector. I come out and I see what the problem is, and then I come up with a schedule for, you know, do I come once a month, once a week? Do we eradicate as many as possible quickly? No, no, keep them alive. Because I'm going to eat them. worth ordering for the sauce alone.
this is food. I mean, not that that's the way all life is, but it surprised me that I was just taking for granted not only it's life, but it's food. So I decided since money was a little tight, I would just start to eat them. <laughs> the snail pale lady may have actually an answer to the problems that we have the you know the ability to eat the things around us has been amongst human beings for thousands of years snail brownies i doubt it yeah i mean i don't know that it's going to be a food revelation a lot of people would be totally unwilling to eat them regardless of what the circumstances were the whole slaughter process is a lot more humane than cows and chickens in our evolution we need to be more conscious of what we do and by golly, I, could, I wouldn't have to shop. I have a backyard full. Well, I suppose they're a good source of protein, but um, I'm not sure that Americans are ready for it. Quite frankly, I'm not ready for it. And I won't eat them. I'm not much of a meat eater. It's close to fish eyeball soup, you know. See the culinary care that goes into this strange dish. Study the ritual. You know, it's not that big. If I cut it out, what is going to be left? So I pretty much eat it. I'm still trying to find a way to make a really good, almost like crispy chip out of them. And down they go. So if she needs to hibernate for winter, if I need to hibernate for winter, it's perfectly acceptable because I'm just hibernating. It's not giving up on the actual vision or the cause. I always see the, the plants and things, or the natural things, and that's the wonders that attract me. Right now, I'm not drawn into this constant consumer, you know, get everything made cheap in China or Thailand or India. It just seems so disconnected. So it's about the connection. Isn't that little thing stopping? Thank you, Rebecca. T -t -t little thing. As an into. Thank you, Rebecca. Two thousand and two. Thank you, Rebecca. T -t -t little thing. As an into. Why is that little thing stopping? Little things as an into. Thank you, Rebecca. Two thousand and two. I have thought long Thank enough you, to know that. If there's room for all of us to have such diversity, if we feel like instead of feeling the wave is too big, like, oh no, I'm being completely drowned by this drive to own a bunch of material goods, I can find my way through it not to have to do that. Any one of us can decide that, though. So, and I'm not saying I don't like things, you know, I have, um, I have things.
Thank you. <laughs> Seems like there's such a huge push in this direction. My nature wants me to push just for opposition in some way, just to say, but there's this to look at too. And since so much light is right now being focused on these areas, maybe I'm just trying to say, but can we look over here a little bit? Because I don't have the answers, but I think that we're not shining enough light on this. When somebody asks me why I kill these, it's like I'm really sensitive and caring about them. So on some level, I'm just trying not to waste life. Why isn't that little thing stopping?